Colorful beads, intricate charms, layered chains. This is Sparkle with a story. It's a treasure hunt. There are so many nooks and crannies that are in this place that are filled with so many treasures and it's about giving them a new life. A New England couple is keeping history alive in more ways than one with their jewelry business. My upbringing was in jewelry. My whole family has been in this for generations. Rachel Aj Aj is a third generation jeweler. She and her husband Omar are co-founders of Air and Anchor in Cranston, Rhode Island. We're high school sweethearts. Yep. We uh, met when we were 17 years old. Separate colleges, traveled the world. Yep, got married. Had our first baby, started our careers together. Yep. And then had two more kids. <laughs> this model was hand carved. Both Omar and Rachel built careers at Alex and Ani, the big name brand founded by Rachel's aunt. What they say as that company changed and they reflected on their lives, they decided to start something new. I think you have kind of this like inward look and like, am I gonna do this forever? Or what makes me and our family kind of in a, in a happier place? So they returned to this building in Cranston where Rachel's grandfather, Ralph Raffaele, and ran his jewelry business, Cinerama Jewelry, for decades. It was actually right here in this factory that my grandfather would teach me how to solder and how to link. <laughs> I got totally. the best education of how to do this from him. And she's putting that education to good use, designing jewelry alongside a team of about 10 people. All of our jewelry is crafted right in this building. It was important to keep everything here because, you know, my grandfather's legacy is that. A decade after her grandfather's death, Rachel says he still inspires her. And, it, and all of the, the drawers have little notes in them that he wrote. Literally draws full of stone. So. When I'm feeling uninspired, all I have to really do is just come here and play. The rhinestones Rachel loved when she was a little girl are now featured in air and anchor bracelets. Stones her grandfather bought are polished and reset for necklaces. The couple says the name Air and Anchor reflects their philosophy on life. The whole brand was really founded about the small moments in life. You have air, <laughs> right? And then you have your anchor. And, and then everything, there's a life in between. Everything in between is your life. And so there's these moments in that life that are just magical. Michelle Kane and Kathy Cormier are news junkies. So every day when the paper arrives, whether you're home or you're on vacation, you run out and you get a paper. <laughs> I'm the one that gets up at 5.30 and rips apart the newspaper to see what's in it and hope for the best. But they're not hunting for information. Instead, they're after images. I think that this will sell really well over the holidays. The duo owns Couture Planet, a company in Lynn that crafts unique handbags from newspapers. Here's a beautiful ad we used a lot. Chronicle first met the team at Couture Planet back in 2013. Since then, and especially since 2020, Kane and Cormier have seen a shift in what's in the paper and what makes it into their designs. The advertising business since the pandemic has gone way down. The ads that are really bag-worthy are a little bit further apart. Kane says their designs once drew heavily on high fashion ads. Now they're just as likely to turn to major cultural moments. We sold out of Ruth Bader Ginsburg bags. That was probably our fastest seller. Currently it's Queen Elizabeth. We have two bags with Queen Elizabeth and people seem to want that. And there's one person whose appeal hasn't let up despite leaving New England. We still sell a few around here, but he still sells in Tampa Bay. And yeah, we, 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 we thank Tom for his longevity. <laughs> we follow all the sports teams and we have had some great years. When the Red Sox won, we sold that. When the Bruins won, we sold that. Couture Planet's bags are designed and sewn here in Lynn. There might be a hundred bags with the same front and back but the sides and bottoms are different. People want what they like and they want to represent who they are on their bag and this way they can make it pretty personal. The hard part is once they find an image they like, they try to grab as many of the papers as they can so they go to recycling centers and elsewhere because once the images are gone, that edition of bag is gone as well. That is true. And back to Aaron Anchor, they, vintage is a big inspiration mm -hmm. behind a lot of their jewelry and they have a push button uh, class that they put on their bracelets, which they designed and there is a patent on that design as well. So mm -hmm. they're doing great things there. All right.